product to succeed, it's got to address a need. And the fact is there's probably already other products out there, including the leading product, that addresses that, addresses that need already. So how can you make a difference? How can you break people out of their pattern? The fact is you've got to be 10 times better. What does that mean? Ten times better, ten times smarter, ten times prettier, ten times more utilitarian. This has got me thinking, this idea of your product being ten times better and what that means. And I did a bit of research about what ten times better means and how it would be possible to actually have the kind of thinking that ends up creating a ten times better product. So I read this interesting article about how sometimes it is easier to do something 10 times better or 10 times more ambitiously than it is to improve something by 10%. It makes the point that particularly in companies, they want to build on the past and to improve. But usually even to get a 10% improvement is pretty hard. Whereas if you're looking at a 10 times goal, if you're adding a zero to the amount of improve, improvement you want to make, then that can have a substantial effect on your thinking. The example is given of companies such as Kodak, for example, with the advent not just of digital photography, but of mob mobile phones, which basically replaced the camera market altogether. Mostly what I read was that finding something which is 10 times better is hard. Well, of course it's hard. But another article that I read said, gave, just gave a really interesting perspective and idea. They showed this uh, movie from 1975, which I'll link to in the feed, that showed this guy lying on a, on a, um, on a blanket with his family having a picnic. And then they zoomed out by 10 times and they showed what he would look like you know, from the sky 10 times more away. And then they added a zero to that, 10 times more and 10 times more, until they zoomed out of the solar system and then to the, out of the galaxy and then looking at the universe. Then they zoomed right back in 10 times, 10 times, 10 times, until they ended up at the guy and then they went right down into the subatomic level. So it shows the power of 10 times thinking, I suppose. Anyway, the article suggested that why don't you add a zero? So in your thinking, just say that you, for example, wanted to create a product and it was worth $100. Well, with 10 times thinking, so what if it was worth $10? Or add another zero, what if uh, people were willing to pay $1,000 for it? What would that look like? And also when it comes to uh, transportation, for example, if something took 10 times less time or it was 10 times faster, which is effectively the same thing, um, what would that be like? And that 10 times thinking has got me thinking you know, about my ultimate mission of con connecting parents and kids through technology. What if I was able to create a product that was 10 times better than any approach today. That'd be something worth striving for. Hey there. My name's Julian Biddle, and I'm feeling a little hoarse.